I hope I'm audible, <coughs> right? Yes, sir. So yesterday we started this interaction uh, thing. Uh, I asked people to write essays. And thankfully, to prove me correct, you didn't write essays. Many people didn't write essays. So that's that's you know that shows initial inertia for everyone. That is true. It happens to everyone, even the best of us. So we have decided to again discuss two more topics. The first topic is very easy. right what is real education okay so the topic we decided to discuss is what is real education <coughs> okay so please try to tell me what is real education so the very obvious thing we have to focus is real or education which word is more important real or education okay at the same time uh, is it a simple topic or a difficult topic if you are an absolute beginner you never wrote an essay in your life i mean apart from your colleges okay how will you deal with this topic let's say upsc didn't give any choice to you you have to write what is real education okay how will you go about it we have to start somewhere let's say shall we use oxford dictionary in definition of education or our own understanding of education what is education going to school colleges getting degrees is education yes or no that is a very laymanish and a simple way to understand what is education okay are degrees equal to education if yes then why did the person add this line real education is not my college degree a real education is it fake so obvious right so what shall we add hmm <coughs> practical education is re real education okay some part of it moral education okay formal and informal education okay right okay see it's it's very difficult to say now i will just shift the gears and add a word indian word vidya okay let's forget about real education which is complicated term and we will add a sanskrit term called as vidya what you need is vidya not education okay now tell me how does that change your thought process there are only two things vidya avidya either you know or you don't know or <clears throat> right even the term guru guru in sanskrit is a very simple term which says dispeller of ignorance a person who separates you from ignorance is guru okay so that means ignorance is avidya no, uh, you know uh, knowledge is vidya now what is knowledge is that true education is that real education are you able to see that dimensionality in your first thought process because if you just confine to the dictionary meaning of english education okay you find it narrow the topic is narrow but the moment you add the sanskrit term vidya okay you have expanded it to a whole new level right and second thing uh let's say within vidya we will try to add one more thing okay that is uh, the spiritual thing a religious thing right for example if you ask a true religious person okay the true vidya is knowing god or the real education is knowing god nothing else is true everything else is maya okay the only reality is god or that whatever you want to believe in it okay that is one way out of one way of seeing things are you able to follow me so vidya is knowledge or wisdom <coughs> we south indians love to add the h word right so north indians yeah. vidya we can write we add h so that is the difference between you and us wisdom no wisdom or knowledge so some people are saying vidya is wisdom why not knowledge can you gain knowledge can you gain wisdom without knowledge are you able to follow yes so should we be moving towards knowledge or wisdom in this essay how can it be both okay we can have knowledge but implementation is wisdom okay <clears throat> that's wise <laughs> okay 
Hmm. Wisdom is knowledge with ability to discern. Okay, that is what the other person is also saying. That application of knowledge is wisdom. So, shall I say, real education is acquiring wisdom or knowledge? You 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 get my drift. Hmm. Okay. Now, please tell me how will you how will you add the basic concept? Because expanding real education is difficult. Now, before we go into real education. let's talk about education per se what is education known to us education is something that helps in your day to day life okay everything that humans use is invented to solve a problem okay if you have seen the three idiots movie what is a jeep okay he gives a very lengthy definition for a jeep but the purpose of jeep is to keep things close it can be a bag it can be a pant it can be a shirt it can be anything so everything is done for something so to solve that something some person has worked so hard okay can we call that as education or application of knowledge so i am a caveman living in some area my education or my real education is to survive right if i go back to that crudest level okay eating this plant will kill me not eating this uh, not eating this plant will lead to some problem right so that is avidya this is vidya knowing not knowing all these things is application of real knowledge i hope you are following me so far without losing me right so now tell me how do you define education in the intro part so let's take whatever intro you wanted to take then you have to write a thesis statement or definition of essay education <coughs> what will you add please be more interactive it's boring because i i brainstorm when i can brainstorm alone right i am doing this for you people hmm okay so so more or less the common consensus is wisdom is application of knowledge real wisdom is using knowledge okay now tell me which knowledge to acquire which knowledge not to acquire okay forget about complicated things tell me what is the difference between knowing and learning which one is education not knowing knowing and learning please use some please take a breath knowing okay i know touching a red iron rod will hurt me yes or no how did i know that experience by learning or my mom told me so do you have to do everything to know is it education is it part of real education i'm starting very slowly i will escalate it to whatever levels you want to but please understand this is all appreciation of knowledge right education means knowing knowing something is also knowledge learning something is also knowledge application of knowledge is wisdom so we have we have identified three stages right knowing learning and application can i can i go in this lane is it valid i have to know i have to by knowing i will learn by knowing what i don't know also i will learn socrates paradox socrates says i know nothing that is what i know so that is also wisdom right so no, knowing what you don't know is also wisdom is that real education yes okay now i will add a simple complexity that is the purpose what is the purpose of education to differentiate between good and bad that is education then you actually don't need degrees <laughs> okay oh. yes no no see we are here to learn if some people doesn't like this discussion they are free to leave but what i'm trying to tell you is you have to develop what critical thinking so is critical thinking real education or thinking real education thinking is dangerous do you agree no think about it see you people told me thinking is important within thinking i'm adding layers thinking critical thinking which is more education closer to education critical thinking when did we come to this logical conclusion 
how do you know that thinking and critical thinking are two different things and critical thinking is more danger i mean more important that is closer to real education hmm 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 we appreciated critical thinking more than normal thinking okay so critical thinking is again crowd consensus right so we have established knowing pythagoras theorem is one thing and application is one thing okay critical thinking for exploring the unexplored okay thinking in a holistic way is critical thinking okay how do you i know that i have thought everything about something when it serves the objective how okay good uh, are you thinking no are you thinking now in the class am i helping you to develop your critical thinking yes so without wasting much time now we'll go to one more thing what is the difference difference between you know uh, learning by reading i mean the, the rote learning part and application oriented learning which is more important purpose of education is to have moral life based on experiences okay so my my purpose is why so somebody is saying purpose of education is to serve others mm -hmm. okay application oriented is more important according to even gandhi <clears throat> right i hope every single person who is spending the last 5 minutes thinking has developed some new perspective about what is real education now let's let's ask a purpose okay quickly come to a consensus what is the purpose of education Hmm. Hmm. Learning starts from womb and ends in tomb. I am asking purpose of real education. Okay. To understand about environment, where we live, where we come from. Okay. So that is one one nice way to put it. Purpose is to better society, individual, sarvodaya. So somebody is saying sarvodaya is the true purpose of education. Or in simple terms, can I say to give voice to the voiceless? if you are oriented if you are socialistically oriented in upsc ss can i say give to give voice to the voiceless hmm okay or as somebody is saying move, to move from darkness to light asatoma sadgamaya tamasoma jyotirgamaya that is a very famous sanskrit line right prayer also which says let me move from darkness to light so avidya is darkness vidya is light education is darkness and normal education is darkness in a way subjectively but real education is true light okay hmm. to live in a better way okay very good to know about ourselves to become a responsible human being that is also fantastic okay so now that all of you have all the people who are participating in this session have the, your own understanding of why you don't have to tell me but you know you have a purpose okay very good <coughs> now should education and real education be separate and one day they have to meet or should we shape everything uh, to converge one day because i am using education to teach you something that means i am educated let's say my education have biases okay what will i teach you i will try i will carry forward my own biases to you in the education but what is the problem here real education so let's say this is truth okay this is almost as good as truth but not truth can there be an absolute truth is that the ultimate goal enlightenment you know of you know serving the society i hope you are following spiritual wisdom okay Hmm. I will give you a real life example. Let's think about it. How many of you know about Malthusian theory? Malthus, Malthusian theory. You you might have a fair idea about what is Malthusian theory, right? Malthusian theory is where he says population will increase exponentially. The world cannot su support the resources and all those things. Okay, that is Malthusian theory. Okay, so population will grow more than the resources. Okay, now. 
i will say my planet needs to be safe i want to have people i want people to have a quality of life okay so my education says the better way is to improve productivity make people you know work and all those things but again some people with their own knowledge with their own education think killing people or letting others die is a better way to protect myself yes or no if if you believe you know if you have seen the thanos or rashal gul uh, in batman series or even dan browns there is a novel which argues in the same line that you know we should not support certain people because people are the problem of the country even there are certain hollywood movies right okay kingsman second part first part i guess so all these things will say the same thing so yeah, they are using knowledge for one purposes but our goal is good our end, end goal is good i am using education to brainwash someone at the same time i am hiding truth or i am telling truth there are so many rivers i mean all the rivers will end up in what truth okay so truth is a real education truth leads to wisdom so the ultimate purpose of you know education is enlightenment or what we call as nirvana stage can can we go into that argument okay right so so quickly summarizing the ultimate goal of education is to promote good okay now the real problem starts that is what is good good again is a very very subjective term but try to do good everywhere wherever possible as much as good you are doing in every possible way without harming others then your education is a real education that means your intentions are good whatever you are doing is good as long as you don't do that you are hurting people then you are far from real education see if 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 i am writing this essay personally i will prefer the term avidya 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 because i will get confused between education and real education so it's very easy for me to project that whatever is not truth or whatever is not the right thing is avidya right i am helping someone but that help will have long term consequences okay long term impacts for example i am i am imposing let's say military rule in hyderabad to protect hyderabad people from themselves right in my opinion that is avidya in a way that is not the right solution to do there are better ways to achieve that so my intention is to help you i should not put you through harm is yes or no so this is all the purpose of vidya and avidya so anything avidya is not a real education so real education is vidya in telugu there is a beautiful idiom which says vidyalaini vaadu vinta pasuvu that means a person who doesn't have education is like a unique animal a variety animal so that only difference between a human being and an animal is education so within that real education will make you even better human being you can always aspire for better human being so this is one line of thought that means formal education is one thing then you can go into spiritual education and societal application of morals so value based education is one thing formal education is one thing and religious application of the term education is one thing you can bring in so many other phases also okay so if religiously speaking uh, rama is truly educated you know the rama raja becoming rama uh, having all the right qualities following the dharma is the right education bending dharma is avidya you cannot bend a dharma is yes or no or following nishkama karma is real education why the moment i attach something to something okay if it doesn't work out i will feel bad but real education is what not to put me in a position where i will hurt myself you can bring in all these indian philosophical terms into your essay writing okay yes hmm. which one promotes real education uh formal or informal real education formal or informal see when we talk about wisdom okay we we mostly talk about things we learned through experience through something outside the school right and pramod is saying both both are equally important for learning or promoting real real education so how do you promote real education say for example you are a very good follower of whatsapp you are a victim or you you are a subscriber of whatsapp university okay what will you learn vidya or avidya uh, that is again generalization right probably i can learn something good from whatsapp also let knowledge come from all sides as rigveda says let knowledge come from 
all sides but how will i know something is real or not are you asked chat gpt tell me what is you know avidya vidya okay it gives a line how do you know that is a true source are you getting my point that means whatever we are trying to do is promote real education real education can come from formal sources recognized sources and highly appreciated sources and at the same time biases prejudices ignorance can also come from same sources okay at the same time what looks like informal totally useless sources might also give us real insights real wisdom so the the purpose of this discussion is it's very very hard to define what is real education but let's say whatever is doing good without hurting others is the purpose of real education keep people masses in line is real education again that is what we call as morals and ethics yes or no yes please add to the contribution mix of classroom and experimental learning okay guru shishya parampara is both formal right and at the same time informal for example guru shishya parampara parampara is what you you join a gurukulam the teacher will teach you in a formal way after the classes are done whatever is the shushrusta that that you do the seva you do to the guru is a informal learning of the wisdom peer to peer learning is also in, in, informal right okay you can even learn from an auto driver or as my favorite goes quote goes it says you know you can learn from a bad person how not to be bad if you have the right perspective but somebody has to give you that perspective right so formal things are socialization mother father socialization stories morals values these will give you perspectives your application of those perspectives will teach you informal is yes or no don't talk to strangers this is a formal lesson that we are given in schools or parents and all those things informally when you start applying them or you learn your friends experiences that he believed a stranger and it went bad okay uh, that is application of your formal knowledge okay yes hmm. guru shishya parampara informal teaching through community protection for example pramod is uh, prasad is citing baishnoi community the baishnoi community in rajasthan area okay they are very good protectors of nature they are the ones who complained against salman khan and all those things you must have seen youtube videos where the women of baishnoi community gives milk to the deer okay they they treat the them as a family members and if you have seen south indian movies uh, mariyada ramanna and all those things we have cow and cattle inside our home we don't treat them as outsiders so that is again formal education so depending on community situation geography culture traditions your education and real education will again change for example if you are born as a nomad in africa okay hunting and gathering right your education definition and real education totally changes right i hope you understand yes hmm. tulsi gowda is in encyclopedia of forest yes, that is also real education for her whatever she knows but how do you support that swati how do you support tulsi gowda as real education Hmm. And now I will try to add one more layer to this. I don't know how many of you will appreciate or understand this. <clears throat> so let's say you must have seen the movie Avatar, right? The Avatar, the wisdom tree is there. There is a common tree, and everybody will connect to that tree, and every wisdom of every living person is shared to that the tree, common source. Is that no? I hope you have seen Avatar movie, right? So that that is wisdom, right? That is a storage of wisdom, and that is accessible to everyone. Okay. Same is with Vasudeva Kutumbakam. For example, Tulsi Gowda believes in Vasudeva Kutumbakam, where she she has done her job, her her her. her intention is to plant more trees because she knows planting trees is a good thing okay collectively she has helped the universe vasudeva kutumbakam okay so any good done by anyone as long as you are not hurting others is real education that is what we are discussing right she may not be an einstein she did not invent you know some formulas and all those things and not redu reducing einstein but the intention is every small drop of good things will accumulate and become what wisdom that is greater good that is real education as long as we keep sharing these greater wisdom and greater goods okay we are promoting what real education
Yes or no? Somebody somewhere must have started the right things. Only then we came to know what is good, what is bad. Yes or no? Collective wisdom of societies, cultures, worlds together is good thing. Real education. Don't do this. This is bad. Who told us? Collective wisdoms. Do you agree? Yes or no? So real education is doing good as long as you are not harming others. We can always bring in you know discrepancies. We can always bring in what exceptions. But majoritarily, we have to promote what real education. But the problem is the road to real education is very simple. Uh, not the problem. The road the road to real education is very simple. That comes from family and everyone. Starting with family, everyone, everybody can promote real education. As long as you are promoting good things, wisdom, I can keep learning. There is a very famous Woodrow Wilson quote, right? Uh, you know, I can, I can, I can steal or I can learn how to sharpen a knife from a thief without his intention of murdering someone. So a thief knows how to sharpen a tree. So wisdom, good things, good things, good things, good things. All good things can be accumulated, but you have to use it only for what? Good things. Till then, it's fine. But is it that easy to, you know, separate, uh, you know, education and real education? Hmm. It's very difficult to draw a line. For example, we will go back to our art and culture classes, right? Generally understanding. There is a concept called as Dvaita and Advaita. Okay, Dvaita and Advaita. Okay, who is right? Who is wrong? <laughs> you think and tell me. All of you know Dvaita and Advaita, right? Advaita says there is nothing but truth. There is nothing but one God or one, one, one spiritual thing, whatever you want to call it as. Dvaita says... There is one spiritual thing, definitely, no doubt about it. Because of this, whatever you see is also there. Advaita says, whatever you see is Maya. The only real thing is real thing. Dvaita says, real thing is real thing. At the same time, whatever you are seeing is also real. I hope this is my understanding or limited understanding. Right? Do you agree? Saguna Nirguna. One is wrong according to the other. Yes, if, if you are a believer or if you are a supporter of one thing, Dvaita or Advaita, don't we, we can argue for generations? This is actually what happened, right? Okay, now tell me what is real education in that? It depends on which school you belong to. Both. But only, it's like Harry Potter and the, you know, Voldemort, right? The prophecy says only one of them can exist. If Dvaita is true, Advaita is wrong. If Advaita is true, Dvaita is wrong. Technically speaking, hmm. you can move from Dvaita to Advaita. Okay. <laughs> Anekata Vada of Jain applies here. Okay. Yes, definitely. To the, each one have uh, Anekata Vada is definitely appreciated. So again, you understand the problem of education. We all come with a lot of knowledge. So knowledge has to be translated and Anekata Vada, Dvaita, Advaita. Everything is correct. Everyone is correct. Even African philosophies like Ubuntu are correct. It takes an entire village to raise a kid. Okay, all, all, all village is one family, right? Vasudeva Kutumbaka means all universe is one family. Everything is true. There are so many truths. So among all these things, finding real education is a real problem. Now, instead of fighting what is real education, can we at least say real education takes lifetime? Because you are never done with education, right? Unlike, you know, unless you are Gautama Buddha who says, I am enlightened. Okay, probably the only person who has that claim. Everybody else is, sir, still there is something to learn. Okay, so real education is all about lifelong learning rather than degrees, certificates, one philosophy, one ideology. There is never a complete truth. It will take a lifetime to realize it. Yes. Okay. Hmm. So now can we sum up, can we summarize a lot of things here? What are the lot of things? As someone is saying, unlearning is also real education. You have learned something, you need to know when to unlearn something. That is when something will become real education. Okay, next. Can you actually identify something as real education and education? I mean, what I mean to say is, if I say something is this, think, okay, and if I show you critical thinking, 
automatically humans have an ability to identify which is good which is bad yes or no see re, my 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 thought process is this real education promotes you as a human being makes you better makes your society better makes your surroundings better and that will lead to further curiosity if we take the entire human civilization we started with bow and arrow okay then we moved to rockets now we are moving to laser beams ipcm so a lot of stuff we were never satisfied but education at that point of time temporal dimension was real okay given the science technology geographical limitations it was real because of that reality you built something better then your reality has improved so real education will change according to the changing situations so every good thing will always promote further good things you can even bring in maslow theory of hierarchy right once your social needs are needed you will move to some other needs so at every level you will feel this is this is what i need to learn to move to the next level okay again if you believe in indian philosophy the thing is ananda brahmananda okay moksha is some some different level all together moksha is not buddhism moksha according to hinduism so ananda is one level brahmananda is one level so one education will take you to ananda one more education level will take you to brahmananda from brahmananda you will move to moksha okay again this is not pravachan class this is you know essay class only oh, the, the the concept is there is a lot of indian philosophy you can dump on the face of the examiner so that if he is asking such a ridiculous topic we will answer equally okay that is our intention even he doesn't know what is real education so we have to give avidya so that he, can, he will lose his vidya and he will give you a lot of marks okay right yes now tell me how do you promote real education quickly this is very easiest part obviously culture society family same drama panchatantra stories moral values value based education national education policy 2022 atmanirbhar bharat nishkama karma what else why spirit of inquiry critical thinking has to be developed that is all covered under national education policy right national education policy very nicely covers all these things okay good atal tinkering labs yes develop good what else again spiritual upliftment is something that a person should sh person should do that is real education in one way so all your separate education st should come together to make you a better human being ultimately making you a better human being is the goal of real education yes hmm. see in end of the day sanskrit says i mean all the all the wisdom upanishads is only one thing as as long as you are aware self aware okay your ignorance will go away so the ultimate goal is real education is to become self aware know thyself no know, knowing thyself will liberate you from all the worldly problems again you can bring in buddha yes holistic education to mind body and soul yes you can even bring in yoga right if you take the indian school of thought okay indian school of thought that is the sanatan dharma not hinduism the sanatan dharma says very simple things okay eat the right food do the right exercises meditate in the right way okay think the right thoughts automatically you will have moksha okay they just don't focus on only formal education right yoga is done not for you know being instagram photo bull okay that is not the purpose of yoga the purpose of yoga is to make you make your body in tune with the universe so that when you start meditating your breathing will become easy so real education is a complete system designed by sanatan dharma from surya namaskara all the way till you know how you eat the satvik food the trigunas and all these things so everything combinedly as a package will try to make you a better human being you will control your senses you will be self aware okay you will try, try to move towards god you will follow nishkama karma you will not have any worldly attachments so a better human being can be created through a systemic process that has been shown by sanatan dharma the problem is not of the sanatan dharma the problem is about implementation again this is not about hinduism this is about way of life okay if you do all the right things which is all real education automatically you will have a right society right societies will create right education and they will keep propelling the right things okay so too many rights there yes are you, are you following me did you lose me okay yes 
and you can also bring in the concept so again i am trying to bring in the indian philosophy part a lot because there is scope dharma is also real education as long as you follow your dharma you will not move away from the real education a teacher has to do his 100% job a student has to do his 100% job if everyone in the society does the right job automatically that will create right society that will promote what real education see okay i i will conclude this real education part probably some of you might be sleeping right the thing is okay there is a beautiful concept in bhagavad gita called as niyati niyati that means whatever is not true whatever is not true if you remove all those things whatever finally rem remains is truth so education is always there okay it's us who added all the masalas okay your body whatever natural state is always in tune with the universe it's us who is distracted mentally affected you because you are not really educated okay you have mental issues stress suicides psychological problems and all these things our job is to make a society where all these avidyas have to be removed so that we will only find what is vidya okay in this way if you proceed without i mean by ignoring the word education it makes very easy for you to add as many dimensions as you want in the 6 or 10 minutes that examiner reads your concept okay he will hardly find the term education but if you bombard him with you know vidya vidya gnanam agnanam okay he will reward you nicely in my expectations why that is also real education right gnana is education real education agnana is not real education just because the entire society is believing something that doesn't make it truth truth is always truth 999 people are believing one thing one person is believing one thing but truth can always lie with the one person also there is no guarantee that majority is always right okay so try to think of an in intro and dump all these points yes was the kutumbakam is also truth any any questions on what i have discussed so far if you didn't understand please let me know Uh, and one one last term i want to add in sanskrit or the hindu philosophy is samskara samskara samskaram the, the the telugu word samskara is also real education having the right manners as a buddha eightfold path all the right things will also lead to what right education i am not using lot of buddhism here because you have read it in art and culture anyhow yes or no eightfold path of buddha will lead to what real education sanghas will lead to what satsang satsang will lead to right education if you roam with all the wrong fellows automatically you will like, catch the wrong habits satsang good company as long as you maintain good company you will also have right vidya if entire teacher society government policy makers parents are teaching good things automatically society will have what real education now problem with again you, you all should know what is problem with not so real education because we are worrying behind certificates fake news misinformation biased news there is also a beautiful concept i read somewhere in twitter called as biased truth okay uh, it's like i'm telling truth only but i'm cherry picking some truths uh, kind of half truth kuda kada it's it's truth only but it will suit my narrative for example if i want to support one political party i will tell only the true things about that particular political party i will ignore all the wrong things about that political party okay i will i will conveniently forget all the bad things and i will only keep saying the good things am i lying no it's a white lie right it's deliberately missing certain points right so bias of truth only my truth is truth your truth is not truth okay so real education will give you the clear insight what is bias what is truth it will it will help you see things as they are not as you want to want them to be okay yes so so lastly to conclude savidya ya vimukyate that means only true awareness or self awareness will remove you from darkness yeah so to conclude i will tell one thing for me real education is that give which gives voice to the voiceless that means which will help me help others is real education for me okay as swami vivekananda sir says only those who live those who live for others that is true education only those who live for others live actually live okay selfish living is not true education is yes, online people 
any any conclusions i hope you have some uh, expansion of the thought process on these topics okay because everybody is writing all the greek philosophers and all those things we have lot of stuff within india we can we can literally bombard the examiner with lot of stuff okay so more you know the better the same applies to ethics also to help others is ultimate joy of life again same thing any any vidya is to help okay real vidya is to help a lot of people maximization of happiness utilitarianism there also you can drag in okay yes hmm again it, it becomes too uh, th that is very good actually you, you, as swami vivekananda says all the knowledge and wisdom is already inside you all you have to do is find it inside you but again it will be more of a spiritual orientation right conclusion in conclusion what i want to do is bring all kinds of education and says everybody should work for the for the greater good to 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 give voice to the voiceless or sarvodaya right the last man in the line should be the beneficiary of your education because if we if we design everything around the last man in the line let's take for example this is a society this x is the weakest man in the society okay everything you do should be kept in uh, should be done by keeping x in the mind okay if i do this will it hurt x if i do this will it help x okay let's imagine everybody have that vasudeva kutumbakam deep, deeply ingrained that x is the weakest man in the entire society i have to design systems around him so that if he is benefited everybody else will automatically be benefited if he is harmed then that is not a good policy so my religious knowledge my spiritual knowledge my family knowledge or education any kind of formal informal everything i do if it is driving towards that poorest weakest person as gandhi says okay probably i'm i'm working for the real education if i am promoting one political party assuming that you know they are doing 90% good but 10% bad chalta hai the 10% bad is what bad thing that will hurt x yes then that is not real education it see all these are utopian concepts don't don't believe that you know we can find a solution but we that is the direction that we have to go okay yes talisman of gandhi ji definitely Yes, we have taken more than enough time for topic A. Shall we move to topic two? What is topic two? If youth, if youth knew and age can, old people should be able to do things, and youth should know what they are doing, right? So, if youth knew, and the old. can if the old people can do something okay so so one one student wants to know what is the ability of the student the eligibility of the students to receive certain knowledge okay definitely i will endorse that particular thought process but at the same time it has certain disadvantages for example if you to if you look at indian philosophy again there is something called as gupta rahasya brahma rahasya that means certain educations are not supposed to given to everyone freely you have to protect them and find the eligible candidate okay there i personally believe you know knowledge should be open and accessible to all just because it is open and accessible to all not everybody will find it for example upanishads are printed in almost all indian languages and you can literally count on fingers how many people you know have read upanishads okay upanishad knowledge is probably the epitome of any any human civilization philosophy whatever is there in indian, indian upanishads we cannot find anywhere else okay but people can't time find or people don't find interest to find read upanishads because the first rule of upanishad is vairagya that means only when you are fed up with life you will be interested in upanishads you just can't read it like harry potter because human beings are you know lazy lazy being we love watching harry potter rather than reading harry potter so we, we as bentham says we prefer pleasure over pain so reading upanishads is pain but it's a bitter pill which will give you a lot of knowledge 
so adding eligibility criteria artificial criteria is not needed by default there is already a setting this is again my interpretation you can counter argue yes <laughs> yes again i am not giving agni 5 missiles to everyone right agni 5 missiles are only accessible to certain eligible people right diplomat we will discuss again yeah nice 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 arguments both kedar and you okay so yes if youth new and old can that means young people are what they have energy but they may not have wisdom okay whereas old people are wise they don't have energy in your own lifetime for example the 16 year old you will would have been taking some advice from present you right if you get time mission time mission don't you go back and slap him very nicely and say you know you could do better is there any person who doesn't believe in the same thing right probably unless you are a cbse topper and all those things okay if i get a time mission i will definitely go back to my past self and you know beat him very nicely and say you have to do certain things well so what i'm trying to say here is at that time we have energy but not wisdom as age passes you have wisdom but not energy right see old can be anything old or uh, youth can i mean old can be anything here right old can be few years 40 years 60 years 70 years or whatever right so what i hope you are following yes so how do you proceed with this particular essay yesterday i think someone in the group asked a very valid question sir how do we do the topic selection uh, or how do we proceed about it because i will jump into your topic after three pages i cannot find examples for it okay i personally believe that is where thesis statements will help you okay what is the beauty of thesis statement thesis statement especially in philosophical essays is suggested you may do it in the rough work but you don't have to bring it to the what a real essay real essay you can you can you may or may not write that is up to your writing style but let's say understand what is thesis statement for example why Uh, why 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 are we discussing about if youth new okay that means we are assuming that most of the youth does not know things okay or what are the consequences of youth not knowing okay right what are the impacts this is one dimension okay can you think of other dimensions like this second question what can be the second question why do we normally equate with old age with wisdom if youth new and old can right these are all just hypothetical questions then what if youth have wisdom that is a good question okay hmm okay then what if um oh, old can have energy okay right then can they collaborate is that no see energy does not mean they have to go on with you know weight lift and all those things okay very few people are like the father of parmeshwar and ayer right parmeshwar and ayer the person who was chairman of niti ayog and who implemented swachh bharat abhiyan his father is 90 plus i think okay he can do pull ups he will do lot of walking and all those things that is not the energy we are talking about the energy we are talking it about is let's say simple day to day activities let's say many many senior citizens or many people who have the age of 60 right now are not technologically inclined yes or no it's not their fault because smartphones touch screens and all these things were in, in, introduced very recently a 65 year old person right now may or may not understand chat gpt is it his fault no he is wise but he is not wise in everything does he have energy to learn unlearn 
maybe someone who is totally afraid of computers won't even come near to chat gpt but, but chat gpt might be very helpful to him right so if youth can help a senior citizen to use chat gpt that is also a better way to serve the society and at the same time the old person can give you lot of wisdom with other things so collaboration will help all the sections of the society both youth and the old for example there is a very good book called as tuesdays with mori mori tuesdays with mori right it's a book where a you know a person will transfer a lot of knowledge to the younger generations okay yes how can you get the knowledge and become wiser okay youth can help the world to get acquainted with the technology ratan tata and shantanu definitely a wonderful example even i wanted to discuss the same thing ratan tata and shantanu are a very good combination they have, they have even started you know some ngo kind of thing where young people will help the senior citizens sos village sos village ngo is also a similar concept okay bishma pitamaha teaching pandavas definitely why go there you can even take prime minister modi and his entire gang right national security advisor ajit doval every and none of these are young people all of them are very old okay old in 65 plus all people okay but they are bringing lot of their wisdom into what supporting a demographically young india average age of indian is 29 but our prime minister is 70 plus okay majority of the state chief ministers are also 50 plus our average age is 70 also okay so such people are bringing their wisdom of governance administration stability to help the young generations the transfer of knowledge is always a good thing guru shishya parampara yes or no guru shishya parampara is the same thing right i learned from my guru i am teaching to you it's a it's a lineage it's a continuation of the same thing yes man ki baat uh, to a example yes in a in a way you can write man ki baat he is bringing lot of wisdom and he is teaching young students about importance of plastic pollution swachh bharat or yoga all this is a good thing right youth doesn't know the importance of yoga if if somebody in the stature of prime minister modi is teaching that is a good example yes uh, falling values can be taught by the old to the young Uh, dr abdul kalam is the best example to use in this particular thing right Ex abdul kalam has lot of wisdom he has worked in his youth he gained lot of wisdom and he is bringing back i mean he brought back all his wisdom to the society he has inspired a generation of indians to become better right so again my i am not forgetting my question why do we generally equate that young people are not wise why do we assume that young people are not you know smart why why do we assume that age is basic things okay having two ministers in every ministry also also youth and experienced okay that is also transfer of knowledge fine so normally what do we equate youth with we equate youth with certain things like you know adaptability energy yes resilience perseverance what else they are good in good in moving to new areas hmm. oh that is a very good uh, dimension uh, diplomat like i don't know your real name so what he is saying is india is a very age old civilization we have lot of beautiful concepts like vasudeva kutumbakam we can teach them to the rest of the young world so ancient civilization teaching young civilizations that is a brilliant dimension that you can add that will definitely fetch you marks why equate our strong beliefs that time teaches hmm okay yes okay generalization again we assume youth are risk takers old people do not try to prefer to take risks right okay again these are all generalizations not perfectly true there are very old people who will take risks but what i'm trying to say is these are uh, general generalizations then what are the advantages of being youth or what are the traits so you have physical stamina mental ability you can withstand for a lot of times all these things what are the disadvantages of youth generally youth are rash again generalization okay generally youth are rash they don't look for all the consequences they are bounded by rationality they are impulsive is yes or no they are heavy risk takers sometimes they do calculated risk sometimes they don't so all these things are again generally associated with 
youth yes or no impulsive is one thing not having you know control over your own senses aggression and all these things can also happen road rage has happened because of youth right after reaching a certain age you will become very calm for some reason right so what i'm trying to say is these are disadvantages of being a young person now what are the same disadvantages or advantages of being old experience is the best teacher time and experiences are there you are more cautious you take less risk or you will take very very calculated risks you think everything for 10 times okay then some people are adaptable some people are not adaptable lifelong learning may not be one thing critical thinking might come down then liability towards the nation dependency will increase instead of calling it as liability we'll say dependency towards the others will increase but that is general uh, problem of age 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 right okay and you are not also adaptable yes you have a resistance to change that means for example if you take the farmers bill many people who farmers who are used to this you know msp system are not totally happy to move to a new system it's not their fault right it's a resistance to change may, they may or may not understand the uh, Uh, applications apps and all these things even now we see so many old people struggling with what adoption of technology right then so now collaborate so we we generally discuss youth is rash and all these things youth is not having knowledge whereas old people are wise because of their experiences collective wisdom will increase as age increases collective wisdom increases now how do we make them these two batches connect because let's imagine there is a businessman who lost <coughs> who lost lot of money okay because of his experiences okay now he is wiser he can give the same advices to younger generation okay so how do you make these two people link to each other Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yes. Sharing of wisdom. I will start failure talks with my own session. I am the first failure, right? So I will discuss the same with you people. So you learn how not to fail in UPSC, or how not to reinvent the wheel. Hmm? So apart from this, uh, diplomat is again saying Mahabharata war. Kauravas have not listened to the wisdom of Bhishma Pita Maha and others. Okay, the wisdom was not respected. Even if you take Rama in also, Ram uh, Ravana's father-in-law. he comes and says you know please don't do all these things uh, ravana's grand so many people will counsel him very nicely but again ravana is ravana yes now how do we make this collab people collaborate like what happens what is the spark that can be created when youth and old people meet you can bring in my favorite or you can bring in the very famous quote by isaac newton right okay by standing on the shoulders of giants i have seen further okay if you are standing on the shoulders of ratan tata okay you can literally see miles ahead okay or uh, you, you can take the mentorship for example if you go to twitter nowadays or online nowadays okay warren buffett is a very famous philosopher according to the societies right warren buffett is an investor actually so people try to emulate his success people try to learn from him uh, he, his speeches are very famous the same is with dr abdul kalam many people like, want to be like him so the mentorship concept of you know teaching on a personal level will help the youth do you agree yes okay need and necessity can be uh, see again there will always be a need right okay it's 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 like you know uh, think about it for example any hotel cannot successfully run right a generation will change hotel chain will stop or some you have to transfer the knowledge or else that knowledge that wisdom dies with you right so i mean i i want to be a hotelier like for example restaurant and all those things you should teach me apprentice and all those things so i will the lawyers everywhere you see the same thing right even doctors the senior will train guide the juniors so wisdom can be transferred i mean knowledge can be transferred slowly it will become wisdom but there should be a connection uh, we have to create that ecosystem where old people are not treated as a burden but they are think tanks they can be institutions of their own for example e sridharan is an institution in himself 
the knowledge the integrity of e sridharan has to be educated through you know awareness sessions or talks by sridharan himself or somebody else so that we will know the greatness of people like him yes akbar bairam khan okay no oh, definitely akbar bairam khan you can write uh, that's that's something unique family tradition pass on to younger generations my question is how do you mix these two people ayurveda the wisdom has to be transferred okay the knowledge has to be transferred okay uh, through cultures perseveration right for example even you can take dhoni can we take dhoni as an example why Hmm. He has been mentoring a lot of youngsters. For example, Hardik Pandya and all these people attribute their success or you know thought process to Dhoni. Dhoni has inspired an entire generation of Indians to be calm, calculated, not to be you know mindlessly rushing towards certain things. Okay. So so for example, Indian Gurukul system is a very good way of transferring knowledge. Satsang is also one way to transfer the knowledge from old to the young people again if some old fellow i mean some person with good knowledge is coming and teaching you if you are not interested to learn that is trishna okay shraddhavan labate gnanam that is a very famous line from bhagavad gita okay shraddhavan labate gnanam that means if you have the shraddha to acquire knowledge you will acquire it somehow as paulo coelho says uh, when the student is ready the teacher appears right there are so many wise people old people throughout the country throughout the world okay it's you who is not going to them to seek wisdom so shraddha you don't have the shraddha to acquire that knowledge you are letting it die right so that is one gurukul system mentorship system uh, these things you can incorporate okay so definitely from old people patriarchy and all these things have to be discouraged okay again uh, it's a learn and unlearn system right just because somebody is saying this is the right way you can counter question you you don't have to carry old uh, you know outdated ideas such as patriarchy into the new thing right so that is where youth energy will come into the picture for example raja ram mohan rai something i said okay he fought with an entire society so that he can break the patriarchy in nature of sati and all those things so energy will always protect you from the social evils that is one in, one interpretation lateral entry programs are definitely yes definitely lateral entry then uh, innovations and traditions as somebody was saying you know uh, lateral entry that means you can bring in the old people so that young people will be trained under them seminars and all those things interactions can be increased then intergenerational communication has to be increased can intergenerational communication be increased yes or no earlier time summer holidays and all these things we used to talk with grandparents and all those things now we will spend more time with mobile phones not a not a criticism but that is a fact okay that the the gap of family socialization the family bond is also breaking the connect between young and old and the best way to promote is books if more people write books wisdom will be transferred right that is also one nice way but again how many of them are reading books is Hmm. Yes, wisdom tree imagery from Avatar can be used here. Definitely. Uh, uh, again, Avatar as Avatar as a movie, that particular concept you can use, or you can go to Times of India, that wisdom tree col column. Yes or no? So you can if people share a lot of knowledge there also. We can learn from that. Yes. Then. for example you can take the exam uh, marwari community right marwari community is a wonderful example for the risk management they will allow you to take risks up to a certain extent it's not like you should not take a risk we are there to back you up okay if something goes wrong we are there to support you so old are supporting the younger generation see this is what i was told from the particular community right they they encourage the young people to come to work after investing 20 years for them they will give the initial seed capital for you to start a new business so that is the young taking care of the old old taking care of the young that community will have a very good bond home that is broken more or less in other communities so that the transfer of wisdom is broken cultural values sometimes good cultural values are also lost 
right you know small things like touching the feet of the elders to listening to them all these things are also slowly fading away so we have to build them back again i will not go to personal value system overall value system also if you think about countries everywhere some old person with a lot of wisdom is unparalleled or unimaginable knowledge because he has a lot of lifetime experience all the books in the world cannot teach you what he can teach you in 20 minutes that has to be transferred through systemic processes we have to create a culture where this transfer is happening okay but well, definitely gharanas is a wonderful example gharanas is all the, all the music musical knowledge is wonderful example for transfer of knowledge yes again that's an ecosystem right garana is an ecosystem even even hand arts crafts all these things are what ecosystems so ecosystems are broken you cannot transfer the knowledge but luckily youtube books vlogs uh, so many things technology is helping to save the knowledge so that it will be transferred to the next generations so you can write a lot of things about technology towards the conclusion part okay again this is no way the only way to write an essay you can totally go in a whole different direction you can totally go in a direction where you can say it's all about education youth can also be smart youth can be wise thanks to internet youth can use chat gpt and become wiser you can write all those things totally fine no 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 one way to write an essay but what i'm trying to say is you are only as good as your thesis statement you are only as good as your five questions your five questions can be anything why can't youth be wise with the help of technology i do i need to reinvent the wheel do i need to do pitfall you see i can literally ask chat gp to say what are the pitfalls in this particular business model and it will give me a lot of insights which i was not even aware of okay you can go in that direction no no harm done but you have to justify somewhere but youth cannot know everything some things are learned by experience at the same time old people are not wise all the time just because you are old i doesn't have to respect you you can be full of shit you can be full of you know patriarchy outdated values and you know dogmatic ideas and you are a self limiting person just because you are old your word doesn't become gospel just because some song is old that it doesn't make that song classical people equate old songs and classical songs as one thing no such thing classic is classic in every generation just because you are old it doesn't mean you are wise that is one direction okay but good things are there in everything there are old people who are very wise there are young people who are very wise if they collaborate the wisdom will be even better it will do more good to the society than harm yes or no for example if your grandmother is coming and saying you know learn how to cook learn how to make this you know hair band all these things after marriage you will become a better wife if she is teaching you all these values that doesn't make her a wise person she is just one more product of patriarchy okay but she might have a good heart where she transfer good values to you in a different dimension so take the good from everyone wise old young technology whatever you can always avoid the pitfalls calculated risks okay at the same time let knowledge come from all sides okay yes <clears throat> any questions i hope the one hour you spent with me you have got some perspectives right perspectives are the most important thing writing has to be done with done by you i have evaluated few copies in the group i will post them by night or tomorrow morning so if you want to write on these two topics also you are more than welcome to write and post it in the group yes please any questions wasted youth who did not learn from old becomes a ruined old okay they just become outdated right uh, yes definitely they are burden any any questions about anything feel free to ask me what about introductions yes hmm that is exactly what i have mentioned right again uh, real education is about giving freedom for you to write whatever you want to write ajay please don't take me otherwise write an introduction and post it in the group you will definitely work on that because i i will give you one like if you can see me let's say your imagination is here okay your ima your imagination is here my imagination is here okay i don't want you to drag to my level or i don't want you to limit to my level you can be better than me you can write much much better than any person you know right 
So we'll learn by doing. Yes, anything else? Right. If you don't have any questions, I will end the session here. Thank you everyone for participating. See you tomorrow with new topics. Thank you. Thank you, Balraj. Yes.